I was six and just the two of us, my mother and I, took Bowie for a walk along the beach where she and dad grew up, the shore a mix of black rock and pale cold sand. It was always cold, even in summer we wore wool jumpers and our noses ran and became scorched with wiping on our sleeves. But this was November and the wind made the dog walk close to us, her ears flat, her eyes squinted. I could see the top layer of sand skittering away so that it looked like a giant bedsheet billowing. We were looking for cowrie shells among the debris of the tide line. I had two digging into my palm white like the throat of a herring girl. My mother had a keener eye and held six. I felt the pull of victory slackening. Resting in a rock pool was a black suitcase bulging at the sides. The zip had split, and where the teeth no longer held together, I saw two fingers tipped with red nails and one grey knuckle where a third finger should have been. The stump of the finger, like the miniature plaster ham I had for my doll's house. The colour had been sucked from the knuckle by seawater, leaving just a cool grey and the white of the bone. It was the bone, I suppose, that made it so much like the tiny ham. I moved my arm to swat something away from my face and as I did, flies rose from the suitcase in a cloud, thick and heavy. Behind me, my mother. Another one, she called. I found another one. And then the smell, like a dead cat in a chimney in summer, a smell so tall and so broad that you can't see over or around it. My mother walked up behind me. What's... I kept looking at the fingers and trying to understand, my mother pulling me by the arm. Come away, come away, she said, and spitting over and over onto the sand. Don't look, come away. But the more I looked, the more I saw, and peeking through the gaps between the white fingers was an eye that seemed to look back at me, that seemed to know something about me and to ask a question and give an answer. In the memory, which is a child's memory and unreliable, the eye blinks.